Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri with the brand new Big Buggy by Modern Buggy, guys. Um, this thing's awesome. We've been carrying Modern Buggy for a bit. We had the older ones. We have now refreshed our stock with the brand new Modern Buggy. Uh, now also Mod Bug, Modern Buggy, AKA Mod Bug. So you'll find them like social media and things like that. They're using that name. Um, this thing's cool, man. I mean, what can you say, right? It's a nice, very small single axle trailer. It can be towed by a lot of things. It's high quality. Okay, well, we're gonna take a deep look at it here in just a minute. First, I wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment and check out the rest of the Byerly RV YouTube channel. We do things like product videos, instructional videos, live videos, we have RV school, all kinds of great stuff. So be sure to check that out. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, and um, 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 TikTok. All the great social medias. If they invent more, we'll sign up to those too, whatever. But anyway, Check us out all across the board. We like to do fun, good stuff, okay? Um, now, let's take a look at this thing. We'll just kind of start on the outside and do outside and then the inside. Probably just do one cut here, guys. There's not, the inside's gonna be kind of fun because like it's gonna be challenging for Mike and I to both be in there, but we'll get it, right? Um, oh, we'll start at the door and go around. You know, I see right here I've got, well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> City water connection on it right here, um, which, you know, the thing's so small, it really doesn't matter which side it's on on this particular vehicle. Being as small as it is where the fresh tank is, this is just where we had to be to fill it. And so that's also where we connect to our plumbing, which would be on the other side. But again, it's small, no big deal. It's got one seamless piece of fiberglass for the roof, which is really, really cool. Uh, roof and walls have Asdel behind, as backers behind the fiberglass, so there's no Luon, so we don't have wood in there to absorb moisture and delaminate, so that's nice. Um, this is kind of cool. We got a nice little window up front, okay. Um, I do have protection here so that my fiberglass isn't gonna get hit by rocks. It's gonna be this. Dual propane bottles, guys. You know, this is nice. I only have a single bottle on my camper and I'm constantly worried about running out. Um, I love the fact that this has dual bottles here. We've got a single battery in back that we provide you. Um, you can put two batteries on there. Uh, there are options for this vehicle to get a solar panel and lithium batteries if you want. That stuff's out there. This particular one does not have that. Um, spray port on the outside so I can connect a little hose to my water system and there's one that it comes with with a little nozzle on the end. Um, we have holding tanks. So one cool thing about this is the fact that we actually have a black tank and a gray tank and when you go inside, a commode and everything, and a shower, just like the big RVs have. So, you know, sometimes small campers either don't have a bathroom or they're using the, um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, cassette toilet, sorry there, uh, but the cassette toilet, which you're gonna take out and go drain manually. It's awfully nice to just hook up our hose and just dump, right? Cable and satellite in, it does come with a TV. We'll see that when we go inside. Furnace exhaust, it's got a nice, just a regular propane powered RV furnace, a camper furnace, which is great because this thing's tiny. So heating it, no problem. Um, nice off-road tires too, I dig it. These are cool, uh, they look cool, they are cool, and they're nice tires. Um, We've got on-demand water heater, which is nice, right? So I'm not, it's, it's only gonna use propane when it needs to, very, very efficient. It is really what I think works best on something this size, frankly. Um, you can see we're plugged into an adapter here. We've got two nice scissor jacks on the back for stability. It's not that big. So the tongue jack up front and the two scissor jacks in the back, that's probably enough for something that's this small. Uh, you know, a lot of times I talk about how something small has four. Well, it gets to a point where it's really pointless at that point in time. Um, this is a nice rack right here that folds up when we're not using it. You can see it's folded down right now so I can put cargo in it. And then it gives me access to a nice little storage compartment back here. With the netting, it comes with things like this. It's even got this. But I always like to point this out because this means the manufacturer actually cares. And they gave us a little tool that we're gonna need for the jacks because they know that even though the jacks have a label on it that says do not use a drill, they know we're gonna use a drill. So they give us the adapter to use the drill, um, which is totally fine. Just remember that when you're running the jacks up and down using a drill, you should really run them up and down at a speed similar to what you would crank them as opposed to NASCARing the things up and down. Um, I do have a solar panel input right here, so I could stack a couple solar panels on the outside if I wanted to. Um, and then uh, you can see we have a nice roof air up there. There's a 13.5 on the roof air. Um, a 13,500 BTU roof air on something this size. Okay, I could literally probably use this as a walk-in cooler. Um, outlet, 
on the outside. All LED lighting, as you can see, it's very nicely done. They got a couple different decal packages that you can get and everything, so pretty cool there. I just, it's a, it's a well-made vehicle, guys, and you know what? Inside, we're gonna see that as well. Also, I mean, look at this. Double step, not a single, right? Nice, bigger entry handle, you know, nice little porch light. It's a, it's a friction hinge door, so it holds its own in the wind and things like that up to a certain amount. Um, here, let's head on in, guys. There's not, you know, it's not very big in here, so it's gonna be tight. Um, but hey, it's everything's here that you like, you need, you know. Um, obviously, here this is gonna be our dinette, which then makes into a bed. I will warn you, this is the heaviest table I've ever picked up, and the reason why. It's because this thing is solid Corian. I mean, it is <laughs> for real, um, and it is awesome. And it goes down here, and then I fill my cushions in to make this a bed. Um, there's storage underneath these benches. We've got cup holders, we've got USB, USB-C. There you go, folks. I know that nowadays it's like, if you don't have that, you need it. Um, just little spots, we've got emergency exit windows on both sides. One thing I like, and that I'll show you guys just really quick here, um, yes, you have storage under all these, right? But a lot of times when you've got things like the converter with your circuit breakers and fuses, that's what this little thing down here is, okay? Well, a lot of times that basically says, okay, well, that means we don't get to use this for storage. Well, these guys, oh look, I'm gonna have to go ahead and dismantle half of this thing, that's okay. You know, one thing in a small camper you will do is move things around a lot, and that's okay. Check this out. Look at how they finished out the inside of that. Okay, so they covered the wheel well, they covered the converter, and gave me usable storage, because the reality is what? In a vehicle this size, you need as much storage as you can possibly get, right? We don't want to waste any space. Um, and so, that certainly uh, accomplishes that goal. Let me put the puzzle back together here, guys. No big deal. Uh, and... What did I do? Hold on. There. Right? Wrong. Right. Like that. See? There, it's like a game. <laughs> anyway, you get used to that, right? But anyway, everything, one thing is, is they all do fit specifically in certain spots, which is really, really nice, I like. Um, all of the countertops, by the way, are that Corian. Uh, we got a nice little RCA TV up here on a little arm. Mike's trying to get good shots for you guys, you know. Um, thermostat for the furnace right here. Thermostat for the air, oh, for the, excuse me. Water heater controls right here. Air conditioner has controls and thermostat right on it. Light switches, water pump, another outlet, another USB-C. Furnace is below. It doesn't need to be ducted. It's only one tiny room. Before we look at the bathroom, we'll just take a quick look over here at this kitchen. Nice kitchen, actually. Lots of storage up here. We've got storage all over the place. Nice little fridge. There we go. Everything's going to be kind of small, right? It's what we expect. Two burner stove. Got a window in front of it like we saw. Oh, here, this is cool. You ready for this? This is like, you do what you can, right? There you go. Woo! That's cool. Dig it, you know? Now, bathroom, hey, you know what? At least it has one. There is plenty of stuff this size it does not have. By the way, nice little sink, I like this. De a decent size faucet too that I can get underneath. They use stainless, it's nice. This guy here, okay, so some of you are like, that's not much of a bathroom. Well, you're right, because it's not, I mean, the camper's so tiny. The reality is the fact that we actually have a flushing commode, it's a foot flush commode that goes into an actual black tank. This is actually, a, I mean, that's a nice shower pan down there, okay? And this little curtain's gonna go right here and I'm, I can shower in there. I have a commode in here, is there a door? No, there's not a door, okay? Well, you know what? Let's face it, guys. In a camper this size, nothing's gonna happen without everybody knowing, right? But you do have a little curtain. Um, a door would be very kind of restrictive almost. I don't know how you could even do that, but the fact that everything is here is great. I mean, seriously, you know, um, they know how this is gonna be used, okay? They know who's gonna use it and they know how it's gonna be used. That's why they know that, hey, 
actual black and gray tanks, guys, that, that's awesome. You're gonna dump it just like a camper. I actually love that. This is, it's here. Everything's here. I have showered in things this size. The back of a sequence that we carry, these little bitty B vans has a bathroom about this big. It works, it's fine, it's awesome. You guys, this thing is super, super cool. Um, you know, weight, obviously they've got this thing. It's gonna weigh, depends on how much you're gonna put in it, but you know, if you can pull 3,500 pounds, obviously this thing's gonna be perfect. You know, goes behind a lot of smaller vehicles, doesn't take as much space when you're not using it. Um, frankly, doesn't have as many things to go wrong with it. It's very well built. Um, uh, the quality inside and out. Here you go. This might be my favorite part of the inside, you guys. Check this out. This right here, this is not like wallboard, like what you've got in regular campers. This is one solid piece of Phylon fiberglass for a ceiling. How cool is that? I mean, that's a great idea. It bends well. It's not made out of wood. It's not, doesn't have wallpaper on it. You know what? Oh, seriously, dude, I could totally dry erase marker all over my ceiling if I want to do That's awesome. Anyway, really cool. This is the Big Buggy by Modern Buggy. I hope you guys like it. I mean, this is, this is pretty neat. Definitely stop by and check it out and go to www.byerlyrv.com uh, for more information for current pricing and stock levels and to see everything else that we sell. Call 636-938-2000 or message in online if you need more information or would like to talk to somebody because we would certainly like to talk to you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, Byerly RV, Eureka, Missouri, the center of the RV world. Check it out. Check out all their stuff. We appreciate it. I'll see you next time.